Hi students, in this video we are going to do some important problems using the fifth rule of definite integrals. That is integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Using this property, there are so many problems, and the problems are very important for all CME, state CPSC, and LSC. Let us discuss some problems. First one integral 0 to 1 by 2. Row sines divided by root of sine x plus root cosines. And take this equation as 1. Now applying this rule, we know that integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x into x. Therefore, i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 root sin instead of x right pi by 2 minus x instead of a right a minus x so instead of pi by 2 right pi by 2 minus x that divided by again sin pi by 2 minus x plus cos pi by 2 minus x into dx. Sin 90 minus theta is cos theta pi by 2 root of cos x. Sin 90 minus x cos x. Again sin 90 minus x cos x plus cos 90 minus x sin x into dx. Once again we have that is integral 0 to pi by 2 that is i is equal to root of cos x divided by root sin x plus root cos x cos x plus sin x is same as sin x plus cos x into dx which is equation number 1 Now I am adding these two equations 1 plus 2. So nice that i plus i is to i is equal to here integral 0 to i by 2, here also integral 0 to i by 2. Take one 0 to i by 2. Here it is root sin x by. Cosine x plus cos x. Now plus sine. Here are root cos x by root sine x plus root cos x. Whole into dx. We are adding these two equations. Here are root sine x by root sin x plus cos x plus root cos x by root sin x plus cos x. Here the two denominators are same. Integrals are root by b2. Denominators are same. So write one of the denominators. Root sin x plus root of cos x. Write the numerators as it is. That is root of sin x plus root of cos x into x. Now eliminating these two. 
we get integrals row to y by 2 1 dx so x upper limit is y by 2 lower limit is 0 that is y by 2 minus uh, 0 this is 2y therefore 2y is equal to y by 2 therefore i is equal to y by 4 the value of y is y by 4 isn't it similarly other question is of cos x by of cos x plus of sin x one question i is equal to integral dx by one plus of cortex this question i am rewriting this question that is integral of dx by one plus root of cos x divided by root of sin x now cross multiply we have integral of dx by cos sin x plus root cos x divided by cos sin x now this root sin x sin x goes to the numerator so we get root sin x divided by root of sin x plus root of cos x into dx now it becomes this question isn't it? If you study this question carefully, then you can do this question. If this question is asked, convert cortex into cos x by sin x. Now cross multiplying and rearranging. It becomes this one. And then proceed as it is. Isn't it? There are so many questions using this result. That is sin raised to nx divided by sin raised to nx plus cos raised to nx cos raised to 5x by cos raised to 5x plus sin raised to 5x integral 0 to y by 2 integral 0 to y by 2 uh, cos raised to 5 by 2x divided by cos raised to 5 by 2x plus sin raised to 5 by 2x similarly integral 0 to y by 2 sin raised to 3 by 2x divided by sin raised to 3 by 2x plus cos raised to 3 by 2x similarly integral of 0 to y by 2 root to cos x by root to cos x plus root sin x and uh, integral 0 to y by 2 1 by 1 plus root uh, tan x into dx these are all uh, questions using this result and answer of these questions all these questions is y by 4 therefore it is very important for general source now I am taking another question using this rule i is equal to integral 0 to y by 2 log tan x into x. Therefore i is equal to using this result integral 0 to y by 2 log tan y by 2 minus x y by 2 minus x. tan y by 2 minus x is cortex so integral 0 to y by 2 log cortex into x tan may be minus theta or theta this is equation number 1 and uh, this is equation number 2 adding these two equations 1 plus 2 which implies that 2y is equal to same integral so write the integral 0 to y by 2 log tan x plus log cortex log tan x plus log cortex into dx but log a plus log b is log a b so it becomes integral 0 to y by 2 log tan x into cortex into dx but tan x in the cortex is 1 cortex is 1 by tan x therefore it becomes 1 
zero to pi by two log one into dx. That is log one into integral zero to pi by two into dx. But log one is zero. Log one is zero into integral zero to pi by two into dx. This is divide. Therefore, it becomes zero. Therefore, i is equal to zero. So, integral zero to pi by two log tan x is equal to zero. Similarly, you can find integral zero to pi by two log cot x. That is also zero. This is another question. You can do it as this. Now, another question is. In this question, we are using this rule that is integral zero to a f of x dx. Integral zero to a f of a minus x into dx. Now a is equal to integral zero to pi by four log one plus tan a minus x. That is pi by four minus x into dx. Now tan pi by four minus x is same. For x is an integral. That is tan pi by four minus x can be written as one minus tan x by one plus tan x. This is an integral. One plus tan x into one minus tan x is tan by b four plus x. One minus tan x by one plus tan x tan by b four minus x. Now cross multiply we have integral zero to by b four log of one plus tan x plus one minus tan x divided by one plus tan x. Here minus tan x and plus tan x get cancelled. Now integral zero to pi by four log of two by one plus tan x into dx. Now it is a standard form log a by b log a minus log b. Therefore it can be written as Log two minus log one plus tan x. That is integral zero to pi by two log two minus log one plus tan x into dx. Now we can split into two terms. So log two into log two is a constant. Integral zero to pi by four into dx. Minus integral zero to pi by four into this is pi by four pi by four into log one plus tan x into this. This is equation number two. Now adding these two equations, this term and uh, this term get cancelled. Adding by adding, so a plus i. This is also i. I plus i is two i. Log two into integral zero to pi by four into x. Integral of the x is x, so it is log two into x upper limit pi by four lower limit zero. Log two into pi by four minus zero, so we get pi by four log two. Therefore, I is equal to 
pi by 8 no resistance I is equal to pi by 2, sorry, pi by 8, log 2. Is it? This is also an important question. Another question is in that graph 0 to pi x y 1 plus sin x minus. Let us take this question as 1. Again, using this result, I is equal to 0 to pi. X can be written as pi minus x y. 1 plus sin pi minus x into x. Sin pi minus theta sin theta. So here is pi minus x y. 1 plus sin x. Sin pi minus theta sin theta. Now separating integral 0 to pi pi by 1 plus sin x into dx. This is one function then minus integral 0 to pi x by 1 plus sin x into dx. Here we get two functions. Adding these two functions 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 which implies that here this function and uh, this function positive and negative will cancel. Now 2 y is equal to integral 0 to pi and pi can be taken outside pi into 1 by 1 plus sin x. How to find the integral value 1 by 1 by uh, 1 by 1 plus sin x? Multiply both numerator and denominator by conjugate of the denominator so here it becomes pi in integral 0 to pi 1 minus sin x by 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x now the denominator becomes a plus b a minus b a square minus b square 1 square minus sin square x which is cos square x that is pi into integral 0 to pi 1 minus sin x by cos square x. Now dividing each term by cos square x that is pi into integral 0 to pi. 1 by cos square x is 6 square x. Sin x by cos square x is 1 by cos x by into sin x by cos x. 1 by cos x is 6 x into tan x. 6 x tan x. Into dx. Integral of 6 square x tan x that is pi into tan x of integral of sec x tan x is sec x here from limit is pi the volume is 0 this is 2 pi now pi into tan pi minus sec pi minus of tan 0 minus sec 0 that is pi into tan pi is 0 sec pi cos pi is minus 1 sec pi is also minus 1 minus tan 0 is 0 minus into minus plus 1 so pi into 1 plus 1 2 2 is equal to 2 pi therefore i is equal to pi this is the answer i is equal to this question is also important. So practice well. Another question is i is equal to integral 0 to pi by pi. x sin x by 1 plus cos square x. It is also an important question. Here, using this result, 0 to pi instead of x by pi minus x into sin x is same as pi minus x divided by 1 plus cos square pi minus x isn't it? into dx so x is equal to pi minus x so pi minus x into sin pi minus x is sin x 
that divided by 1. 1 plus cos phi minus x minus cos x. Cos phi minus x minus cos x. Cos square phi minus x again cos square x. Cos phi minus x minus cos x. A square is minus cos x plus cos square is plus cos square x. So we get cos square x. Clear. This is it can be separated as phi sin x divided by 1 plus cos square x minus x sin x divided by here 1 plus cos square x. This is equation number 2. Now adding these two equations here, integral 0 to pi x sin x by 1 plus cos square x dx is positive. This is negative, both will cancel. Now 1 plus 2, which implies that 2 y is equal to pi is a constant into integral 0 to pi sin x by 1 plus cos square x. This is a substitution type question. So, for cos x is equal to t sin x minus sin x uh, into dx is equal to dt. So, sin x dx uh, is equal to minus dt. We can change the limit also when x is equal to 0. Here the lower limit is 0. So find t. t is equal to cos 0 is equal to 1. When x is equal to pi, t is equal to cos pi. Cos pi is minus 1. Therefore, y is equal to pi into integral 1 to minus 1 sin x dx is minus dt by 1 plus t According to the property of definite integral, we have integral pi into integral minus 1 to 1 dt by 1 plus t square. This is property 1 p1. p1 states that if we interchange the limits of an integration, its value gets changed. So, its value becomes positive if we interchange the limits. Integral of dt by 1 plus t square is tan inverse t. Here upper limit is 1 lower limit minus 1. Pi into tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse minus 1. So, pi into tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 minus minus pi by 4 tan inverse minus 1 is minus pi by 4 pi by 4 plus pi by 4 pi into 2 pi by 4 here it is 2i now eliminating these two terms therefore pi is equal to pi square divided by 4 this is the answer pi square by 4 isn't it this question is also important. So, at least 12. Now, another question is I is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x in log tan x into dx. Here, applying this rule, we have I is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2 into instead of x by pi by 2 minus x into log tan pi by 2 minus x into this. Isn't it? This is equation number 1. Instead of x right, a minus x. Similarly, instead of x right, pi by 2 minus x. So, integral 0 to pi by 2. 2 into pi by 2, pi minus x. Tan 3d minus theta. Cot 
it for tax interviews. Sin phi minus x is sin x. Sin phi minus x is what? Sin x. So sin phi minus 2x is sin 2x into log for tax interviews. This is the equation number 2. Now adding these two equations 1 plus 2 which implies that i plus i is 2i integral 0 to y by 2 sin 2x here the limits are same in these two integrals so we have to write only one integral sin 2x log so log times plus here again sin 2x into log vortex into minus yeah, sin 2x is common so integral 0 to y by 2 sin 2x into log tan x plus log vortex log tan x plus log vortex log a plus log b is log a b so integral 0 to y by 2 sin 2 x into log tan x into cortex is 1 log 1 now log 1 is a constant log 1 into integral 0 to y by 2 sin 2 x into x the value of log 1 is 0 log 1 is 0 0 into integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x into dx 0 into any number is equal to 0 so 2 is equal to 0 therefore b is equal to 0 the value of this integral is 0 isn't it this top up will have so many questions so practice all questions it is important for all syllabi that is state CBSC and LSC.